Hey guys, welcome to Pajama Mama's Kitchen. I'm gonna make some avocado toast, but I'm going to make it with some naan. So let me show you what I'm gonna use. Okay, I got this naan um, at Costco. It came in a rather large pack. So I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna um, um, cut these avocados. And I'm gonna use this borzen cheese to go on it and some avocado oil. The, the uh, naan is not gonna go into the oven but about probably about five and five minutes not even five minutes so i was gonna put some garlic on there but since i'm gonna put the cheese on there i don't know so let me get this prepped and i'll be right back okay guys i have put the nom on the um pan now you can also use just regular bread if you just want to use regular for the avocado toast but here is about three tablespoons of butter. And I did decide I wanted some garlic in there. So I went on and put some minced garlic in there. It's probably about hmm, two, one and a half to two teaspoons. And then I'm gonna put some fresh ground black pepper in there also. Let me move this so you guys can see. And then I'll put a little bit of salt in. I prepped those um, avocados, and the only thing I got on there, I have some, um, actually I salted butter, I don't want a lot on there. I, I have a little bit of avocado oil. Now, if you don't have avocado oil, don't worry about it. Just use some extra virgin olive oil or some grape seed oil will be fine. But that'll actually keep them from turning brown. And then also, I'm going to take this half a lemon and squeeze that juice all over, all over there. And I'm going to put some seasoning on here. Any seasoning, your all-purpose seasoning, that's my seasoning. Um, not too much. Because remember that cheese that we're going to, that uh, cheese is going to be kind of salty too. So you just kind of stir that up. And that oil and that lemon juice will keep it from turning. So I'm going to take this butter. And incorporate it with this um, garlic and then I'm going to put it on the nom. Oh actually I want to show this too. I wanted to put about a little bit of that avocado oil in with the um, the butter just a little bit just to make it easier to incorporate. Okay I'm going to take that garlic and butter and oil mixture and just gonna put it all over this bread. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven. It shouldn't take no longer than five minutes. The package says well, about two minutes, but I'm a, I like mine a little bit more done than that. So I'm gonna do, and it's at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven for five minutes and then I'll let you see it when it comes back, when I come back. You know what, guys? I thought about that while I'm cooking it, and I'm gonna fry up a couple of eggs to put on top. So I'm gonna let those fry up. A little pepper in there. Now I don't want to break that yolk because I want it kind of runny. Turn those over. Oh, it's not sticking. It's never stick. Oh, it kind of broke. That's okay. I'm going to make two more anyway. I'm not going to cook it that long on that side. Because like I said, I want them kind of runny. So when I put them on the toast, I'm going to throw a little bit of seasoning salt on the top. Just a little bit. And I'm, let me take that bread out the oven. Okay guys, the nom is out the oven. I let it cool for a few minutes. And that's what it's looking like. So, let me show you the cheese. That's what the cheese looks like when it's opened up. And it's the garlic and herb, the fine herb one. I had bought it yesterday at Costco. You guys see how creamy this cheese is? Oh my gosh. But but at the Costco, you gotta buy it. It comes in a three pack. And so I said, well I gotta, figure out what to do with you know 
because I ain't going to use it all in what I, I had planned. I'm going to make a casserole and I'm not going to use it all. So you do like that. I see that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the avocados that I have and you're going to just put that on there as thick and or as light as you want. Okay. And then remember that egg that I you get the egg. And you're just going to throw an egg right on top. And that is your avocado toast with boredom cheese and egg. So I'm going to make the rest of these and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Or all put together. Okay guys, that's what it looks like when it's all done. Usually I just pick it up and eat it. But I want to cut it for you guys so you guys can see. You guys see that creamy egg? Oh, wait a minute. Turn it this way. Still kind of hot. I'm gonna show you guys. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna taste and get a little piece. Mmm, it's good in that egg with that creamy, that creamy avocado is just delicious. So just a new way to make avocado toast with the naan because I love naan. I love it. Delicious. All right, you guys tried this recipe. Let me know how you make your avocado toast and hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. All right, you guys have a great day.